If you want to be wealthy and successful, there are a few things you should be aware of to avoid unpleasant shocks. Being affluent is a fantastic goal to have. Money and wealth will buy you the flexibility to spend your time any way you want and will help you get the most happiness out of life that's possible. All people want, but you need to know what to expect along the way to avoid being disappointed. These eye-opening truths about getting rich may come as a surprise, but this video will help you develop realistic expectations so the money is just as enjoyable as you thought it would be. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. People concerned with money, personal finance, and investing. If you want to be financially free and not have to worry about money, if you find it useful, friends may resent you. It's nice to think that all of your friends and family will be excited for you as you progress. Financially, however, that will not be the case as you become wealthy. There will be many people who you thought would be happy to celebrate your successes with you, only to discover that they are jealous and resentful when your peers, whom you thought were sincere friends of yours, see you increasing your income and growing your investments. Their attitude may change. Ironically, many of these friends were presented with similar opportunities as you. Perhaps you started a business that required many sleepless nights and long hours, but eventually paid off while your friends were out at the bar drinking their money away. Desire to attend an expensive college, buy a beautiful car, or rent a luxurious apartment, even though they could have been frugal and invested as they're resentful of the fact that they didn't will treat you differently when you're wealthy. People will undoubtedly treat you differently than if you were just like them. If you're poor and have no money, many people will assume you suddenly became wealthy, whether through inheritance, a windfall, or just luck. They will not understand the struggles you went through to get to your current position. In addition to viewing you as someone who is in the right place at the right time, they may view you as materialistic and only concerned with money. They may believe you cheated your way out of paying taxes or believe you stole from the poor to get where you are. On the other hand, they may treat you extra nicely in the hopes that you will be the go-to person to pay for a dinner out, treat them extra well for their birthday or special occasion, and be their personal bank if they need to borrow money, which they may or may not repay. It's difficult to relate as you progress through the stages of wealth. You may find it more and more difficult to relate to others simply because there are fewer people out there who share a similar mindset. Not everyone thinks alike, and this becomes more and more apparent as you focus on improvement. For example, most people are concerned with paying their bills and keeping their boss happy in other middle-class activities. They are not concerned with investing for their future, creating new income streams, and becoming financially free so they can maximize their time. Instead, they are focused on purchasing a new car or a larger house. If you're thinking about creating a better future for yourself and your family and how you can do that, it's going to be pretty difficult to relate to those who are content being stuck in the rat race. There's nothing wrong with people who think this way as long as they don't mind remaining in the middle class, but it's just a different mindset that will be difficult to relate to it, requires sacrifice like everything in life. There's a trade-off to building wealth. People who build wealth make sacrifices now hoping they'll pay off in the future to enjoy the hard work they put in. But there are no guarantees. You may miss your child's sporting event or a major life milestone because you are working. You may forego a special family vacation that would have created priceless memories because you wanted to invest that money and reap the benefits in the future. And your health may suffer as a result of your decision. Take a toll due to stress, not getting enough rest, and eating junk food because you didn't have time to cook is it worth making these sacrifices. You may never truly know if it was worth it. You hope it was. But those who don't strike the right balance of investing for the future and living for today will suffer might have regrets, might wish they spent more time with family and less time working, understand that investing for your future means you're sacrificing something today. It may not be regarded as a significant or long-lasting sacrifice. For example, you might have skipped buying a new car or something. You didn't really have strong feelings where you'll never feel rich. Don't think you'll ever feel rich. Be surprised if no matter how much money you have, you never feel rich. This is a fairly common occurrence among what many would consider wealthy people. Just look at some extremely wealthy people who can only seem to work and find ways to amass more money. They also like the idea of having more cash. No matter how much money you earn each year or how much money you have in your bank account, you'll never feel like you have enough if you believe that you'll feel rich and successful when you reach a $1 million net worth or a $10 million net worth. 
You're kidding yourself if you expect to reach a certain number and suddenly feel better about your finances. That's not to say you won't feel better about your finances as you become wealthier. Of course, you'll be more relaxed when you're a multimillionaire compared to when you only have a few thousand dollars saved. You won't suddenly feel happy if you're waiting to reach that dollar amount until you finally feel as if you've crossed the finish line. Could you possibly be correct? When you analyze the other truths about getting rich, you'll see why this isn't the case. The truth is that if you're a miserable, unhappy person, money will not change, and you'll still be grumpy angry. And negative if you were previously, there are numerous benefits of having the cash to pursue what you want. You want when you want it, and this will definitely help you improve your quality of life. But the things that will provide the most satisfaction are memories made and moments spent with friends and family. The trick is to have enough money to maximize these instances so you aren't stuck at work grinding away too busy to enjoy them. Locate these items if you have bad ties with your family, no friends, and despise being alone. Don't expect money to change your mind. No matter what they do, some people will see rich people as cheap. There's no appeasing the envious, even if you're an exceptionally generous person who believes in giving money away to others. Assist others, it doesn't take much for you to be perceived as cheap. For example, if you constantly donate 10% of your income, the jealous will call you a cheapskate because you're not donating 20%, and unless you're giving all of your money away to help end world hunger, they'll perceive you as greedy. Glance at what other people think is inexpensive on. A lesser scale, your coworkers want to go out to lunch and spend an easy $50, but you decline since you already have food. They may think you're cheap because you value a dollar and don't want to waste money on things that aren't truly significant to you. They'll have the same mindset of balancing current and future enjoyment. They just won't understand being rich is a blessing and having wealth is overwhelmingly positive after all money will allow you to buy the homes of your dreams and hopefully spend time with your friends and family and enjoy the finer things in life. But that's not to say being rich doesn't have its drawbacks. Everyone would be better off if everyone learned the truth about becoming wealthy.